And now to the first 100 days of the Donald Trump presidency. President Trump enjoyed his weekend in South Florida. The president spotted golfing in Palm Beach yesterday. He spent the weekend at his Mar-a-Lago resort. He is scheduled to leave this morning. And today, President Trump will address troops at MacDill Air Force Base in Tampa amid a legal showdown in San Francisco over his controversial immigration and travel ban. And briefs filed overnight, lawyers for Washington State and Minnesota told a federal appellate court it would, quote, unleash chaos again if it lifted an order temporarily halting President Donald Trump's ban on refugees and travelers from seven predominantly Muslim countries from entering the United States. CBS 4's Hannah Daniels has the latest. A federal appeals court in San Francisco will hear from the Justice Department today on why President Trump's travel ban should be reinstated. On Sunday, the same court denied the government's request to resume the ban, days after a Seattle judge issued a temporary restraining order blocking the travel ban nationwide. We're very confident that uh, as we move through the process of these appeals that the president's authority in this area will be upheld. As Vice President Mike Pence predicted legal victory, the president continued to blast a judge behind the challenge, tweeting, quote, just cannot believe a judge would put our country in such peril. If something happens, blame him and court system. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell was among Republicans who distanced themselves from the president. We all get disappointed from time to time. Uh, at the outcome in courts on things that we uh, care about, but I think it's best to avoid uh, criticizing judges individually. With the order temporarily suspended, travelers from the countries affected rushed to return to the U.S. They're coming here for a new life, and that's what people have always come here for. Among them, Sarah Yerjani, an Iranian national who was detained at LAX for 23 hours last week, then deported to Austria, where she's a permanent resident. I didn't understand why that had to happen when I was just coming back to go to school. Visas for people from Iran, Iraq, and other Muslim-majority countries were canceled when the ban took effect. Hannah Daniels, CBS News.